Okay, to make an animation using Flipbook, like uh, like the old Mickey Mouse movies, which are cell frame animation, you go into your iPod, you open it up. Now you'll see when you go in that says Art 1 and Art 2. Look in Art 1, and you can see some apps that we've used before, like Doodle Buddy and Drawcast, and there's some other things we haven't used yet that we will. Okay. Flipbook is right here with the little guy walking on the page, and you can kind of see his other leg underneath his the, the turn page, and that's because... When you're making these, you're actually making them on one, like a flip book that you would make at home with like a stack of paper that you draw a ball on the edge of the paper and then you flip the book and it makes it look like the ball is moving. It's the same idea, okay? All right, so when you open it up, it says tips. Read through the tips real quick because it gives you some ideas of how it works, okay? If I go back to the first page... Uh, draw with one finger, tap once with two fingers to open the, the toolbar, drag two fingers from zoomed in to pan, slide three fingers up or down to change brush or eraser size, and that's so you don't have to keep going into the toolbox, but it might be easier to go into the toolbox, you'll see. And then uh, the next page says, in move mode, slide three fingers up or down to scale the layer, touch and hold one finger to open the quick commands, then slide to a command and lift your finger, double tap, brush, eraser, and undo for fill, clear, and redo. Okay? What does that mean? You'll see what I mean, see what that means in a second. That was just me letting you know that's there, really. So, when you start, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like tips. Now that I've read that to you, you can go back in and read it, or you can try to remember it. It would probably be easier to just go back in and read it. So we want to make a new one. To make a new one, we hit plus, and this untitled pops up. Okay, so each of these are projects. The tips is actually a project that they put in there to tell you about something, but you can erase this if you want to, if we're running out of room, because we can only store five animations at a time. So to make our animation, we hit plus, came up untitled, we click on untitled. Now, we're going to make a fish swimming around the background. To do that, first thing you got to do is know what you're looking at here. This is, for, this is backwards, this is forward, this is layers, and this is your toolbox. What does this mean in here, the toolbox and the layers? You'll learn about them in a second. If I click on the toolbox, it brings up all the stuff I can do. My brush. Your brush is like in Drawcast or in Doodlebutter. Remember where you move the slider around to make the brush bigger and smaller? Your, this toolbox with the layers here, this is the layer tool. We'll talk about that in a minute. These are layers. You can make a layer on top of a layer, on top of a layer, on top of a layer. You'll see what I mean by that too. Let's go back for now. There's your eraser tool. This is your onion skin tool. This you'll learn will show you what you, it'll show you what you just drew so you know where to draw the next thing. And the reason it's called an onion skin, it's a, an old way, when they used to draw those Mickey Mouse cartoons, they would draw them on paper that was so thin they could see through it. And when you peel an onion, you can kind of see through an onion peel. That's how they came up with the name, okay? This is the undo button, oops. That's the undo button. There's your colors. You can pick from these colors or you can click on this slider and you can move these sliders around and make any color you want. See that? Now, you may make a color that on your own that you don't know how you made it later on, like you want to use it again. If you use this eyedropper tool, you can pick that color out of your animation later and get the color back, okay? And then last but not least is the duplication Duplicate frame tool, and you'll see how that works in a second, too. So that's the introduction real quick. Now we're going to start. When you start, you click on the gray. Once you have your tool picked, your color, and your brush size, okay? To go back to the screen, you click on the gray and see how it goes away. Okay, now you're ready to work. All right, so now I'll show you the next step.